Hey everyone and welcome to the video. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Neil and I'm gonna unbox this jersey today. This one is, it's honestly, it's not really that exciting at all. It is not a specialty jersey. It's not an alternate jersey. It is not a jersey from the past. That means like a bunch, like it's a Reebok jersey. It's hard to get. It's nothing like that. It's a regular jersey, but it is kind of hard to find and it does mean quite a bit to me. So in 2017, I got a chance to go down to Vegas, or sorry, that was 2018. <laughs> in 2018, I got a chance to get down to Vegas, watch some of the playoff games down there. Um, it was an unbelievable experience. And at that point, I decided to do something special. And it says, this isn't, this isn't a Vegas jersey, by the way. But at that moment, I decided to do something special because it was my first playoff game. I decided, <sighs> okay, well, I want to get into jersey collecting a little bit more. How about I collect... Um, whoever wins the Stanley Cup, I'll collect a jersey from that team in whatever jersey that they wore. So in 2004, Tampa Bay would have worn a specific jersey, either darker or light or, light or whatever. And in 2009, the Pittsburgh Penguins wore a specific jersey. So I want that jersey, and then I want to get the Stanley Cup patch to, to get put on it. So this is one of those jerseys. So it's a it's a team that won the Stanley Cup in the last 10 years, um, and they wore this specific jersey when they won it. So that's all the hints that I'll give you. Let's get into it. For the record, this came from Adidas for 40% off. It was just a little bit over $100. Seems like there might be a white jersey in there. That's odd, Neil. You don't really collect white jerseys. I kind of do now. I've kind of transitioned. Alrighty. Now, I don't have the patch to put on this jersey, which is the unfortunate part. Uh, I'm gonna have to pick that up on eBay. I know there's some sites where you can buy patches and stuff. I thought I had it, but I don't. Um, I actually went looking for the patch because I literally thought I had it and I found this, which is the inaugural patch for the Vegas Golden Knights. That I need to put this on my Vegas jersey. And I also found this from my trip. It's a little like koozie from the, the finals. And then hat that matches. Um, so that, I mean, it's cool that I found that stuff. I kind of lost that stuff. So a little bit of a win there. All right, let me get it out of the box here for the bag. For the record, it is named and it is numbered. It is size 50. It is pre-stitched, not hand-stitched, which I'm okay with. Also, it is an Adidas jersey, so that kind of narrows it down. All right, let's check, let's check it out. Boom. Washington Capitals, white, Alexander Ovechkin. Check that out. Dang. It is one of the nicest white jerseys, in my opinion, in the league. Uh, oh, man, the shoulder patches are soft like the one in the reverse retro. Interesting, Washington. I do not have an Adidas jersey from the Washington Capitals. I have an Alexander Vechkin dark version of this jersey in Reebok. Um, so this is officially my first Adidas jersey from Washington, which is a, a huge thing to say. I think there's only maybe three teams left that I don't have an Adidas jersey from. So uh, one of those is on the way. The other one's probably not going to happen anytime soon. That's the Islanders. And I can't remember the other one. Detroit. That one's probably not going to happen anytime soon either. So still Detroit in, in Reebok and still, um, what's the other team? Islanders. <laughs> so yeah, plan is to get the patch, put it on here because they won the cup in, um, in the white jersey. So when they did win the cup, I was actually in Vegas when it happened. And I got to see, I think it was game four. I watched from within the T-Mobile Arena, and that game was in Washington, but they had a, a watch event in, in T-Mobile Arena. I think that was game four. So I was in T-Mobile for that one, and I was outside for all of the home games prior to that. Um, and then game five, which is I think the one that they won, if I'm not mistaken, they were playing in Vegas, but I was on my plane. I was literally sitting in the tarmac in, in Vegas, waiting to leave to go back to Canada, and uh, that's the night they won. So unfortunately, I left one night too early. Um, but regardless, 
I'm really happy to have this jersey in my collection. Um, this one is, isn't one I'm going to be selling in the future. This one means a lot. I'll probably frame it someday or put it in a shadow box or whatever, but I'm really looking forward to get that, getting that patch on there. Um, if you have any tips and tricks and, and stuff as far as where to go to get some of those patches, please leave those comments down below in the comment section because I will be on the hunt. Now, I did notice something on this jersey, which is a little unfortunate. There is a bit of a smudge on the back of this jersey. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera. I'll try and get it close. There's some dirt on there, which is unfortunate. I mean, you you know, you buy a brand new jersey. Straight from Adidas, by the way. Straight from Adidas, the, per the people who make this jersey. And there's a bit of dirt on it. Um, there's some loose threads and stuff, too. This, these are all, maybe not the dirt, but this, the threads are a typical thing when you get it, get it pre-stitched from um, some of these companies. So not a big deal. I'll fix all those threads and stuff, but it just, it just, kind, of re it just kind of reiterates the fact that um, hand stitches is, is the way to go. And that's why I buy most of my jerseys from Cool Hockey and get them hand stitched. Or if I buy them blank, I send them to Cool Hockey to get them stitched. Um, it's just... If I'm gonna have a jersey forever, it's gotta be hand-stitched. This was a bit of an exception because they don't actually have this jersey. Not many places do. My only option to get it in white was basically from Fanatics or Adidas Canada. With Fanatics, I would have to pay um, a conversion fee, plus duty fees, plus shipping. If I had bought this jersey for full price on Fanatics in US dollars, this would have costed me probably over $400 Canadian, which is ridiculous. And I got it for just over 100 from Adidas, so. I'll take the L and uh, deal with the pre-stitched for this one. But uh, regardless, yeah, um, I, I like it. I like this jersey. It is is one of the, the the nicer white ones. I like their dark one too, but I, I don't have any intention of buying that one uh, because I just got the reverse retro, which is right there. If you haven't seen that video, please go check out that video. I released it uh, a little bit ago, maybe yesterday, maybe two days ago, depending on when I release this video. But uh, yeah, so I guess technically this isn't my first... I mean, this, okay, this arrived before that one. I just unboxed this one first. So technically this is my first Washington Capitals Adidas jersey and that's my second. But as far as you're seeing it, this is, I guess, technically my second, but it doesn't matter. This video is way too long, <laughs> longer than it should be. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a really good day. Um, it would make my day really good if you were not subscribed. If you hit the subscribe button down below, join us here for future unboxings of jerseys, um, hockey talk, hockey fun, all good stuff. Um, yeah. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.